one night at Mirage Studios in 1983. Creator Peter Laird was shown an illustration by Kevin Eastman of what he called a Ninja Turtle as a joke. This, of course, has gone on to be known as the first turtle. And back in 2015, Mondo created this amazing figure based on that original Kevin Eastman first turtle. Well, the story doesn't end there because Laird answered Eastman's drawing with his own version of the first turtle. And with both of those ideas out there, suddenly their lives and ours would forever be changed with the creation of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Hey guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today I've got a very cool first look, a special reveal for an upcoming TMNT action figure based on that original Peter Laird version of the first turtle. That's right, my friends, the Peter Laird version is soon to be a reality thanks to Ish. Ish, Justin Ishmael, actually headed up the original project over at Mondo, and now the original team is back to create this companion piece for that already released Eastman Turtle as a official TMNT product release. You guys want to check it out? Let's do it. So here we are, a full reveal of the brand new upcoming TMNT Firsts, Peter Laird. It's Peter Laird's version of the first turtle, and this whole figure is meant to fully be displayed with that Kevin Eastman version if you already have it in your collection. Now the cool thing about this is that Ish headed up that project over at Mondo, and the original sculptor who worked on that Kevin Eastman version came back to sculpt this one as well. So this figure was sculpted by Matthew Black and the wonderful dudes over at Four Horsemen Toy Design also worked their magic by providing the color and the outputs. So there's a lot of amazing talent put into this and it is totally meant to fit right in with your Kevin Eastman first turtle. So as you can see, we've got two different versions sitting here in front of us. We've got a black and white version which is meant to look just like that original sketch by Laird, but we also do have a colorized version here as well. That is because there will be four different versions that you can actually order. There will be two different colored versions. One version that you can order that comes with the orange mask, and another version you can order that will have a red mask, since of course the turtles all originally had red masks. Now, I can actually show you what that would look like here, just by popping off that head and putting that red mask one on so that you know what to expect with it. There will also be a standard edition black and white one, which will come just like this, but there is also a deluxe black and white one that will not only come with the black and white head, but will also come with black and white heads with both a red mask like this one and an orange mask so that you have the ability to swap out the heads and display it whichever way you want. And that's actually pretty cool seeing the black and white turtle with just a bit of color on the mask there. And again, if you were around or purchased the Kevin Eastman version of the first turtle, they had the same options available for that. So you can try to get the one that matches up with the version you already have for your Eastman first turtle. So it's worth mentioning that what I've got in hand today are the resin prototypes. So these are hand painted resin prototypes that Ish allowed me to borrow specifically so that we could reveal and show this off here on camera so that you guys would know what to expect with this. But the full figure when it comes out will be plastic just like that first turtle uh, Eastman version that we already got prior and you can see that it's a very very nice looking sculpt all in all uh, great colors on there as well so this basically should be exactly what you get on the final figure it just won't be a breakable resin statue like this one it'll be a much more durable plastic uh, but it'll still be hefty and will fit nicely on your shelf in fact if you have not seen that Kevin Eastman version of the first turtle. Well, my friends, 
How about a little bit of comparison time so we can show these two side by side. And look at this. Look how wonderfully these two figures will display together. You've got the Eastman first turtle sketch and the Laird first turtle sketch. What could have been, right? But you could see where the designs ultimately gave us what we came to know as the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So it's pretty awesome looking at these two side by side, just seeing their artistic differences. Really cool stuff. I love the similarities though, right? Like the weapons being strapped to the forearms there. Even the poses, very similar. Really cool stuff. And if you guys wanna see, luckily, I have the black and white version of the Eastman First Turtle as well. So let's go ahead and bring in our layered black and white First Turtle. We'll bring in the Eastman one. Look at that. How cool is that? Looking like they jumped straight off of those original sketches. So the scale on the first turtle, if I bring in the tape measure here, you can see that he stands just shy of a full seven inches tall. Uh, he is a big, chunky, hefty looking figure. So if you want to see what he looks like with some other TMNT offerings, well, here's like an original vintage style figure from Playmates. Here is the NECA Mirage Michelangelo there, which again, cool evolution, right? And we'll just go ahead and bring in one of the seven inch ultimates from Super 7, get all of these lined up here, and uh, that gives you a good idea of what to expect with this brand new TMNT First Peter Laird Edition Turtle. So there you go, my friends, a first look at the upcoming TMNT Firsts Peter Laird edition of the first turtle coming very soon thanks to Ish. An officially licensed new TMNT product based on original concept art. Man, this thing is totally up my alley. I love it when toys like this pay respects to the origins of these characters that we love so much. So a few things you guys need to know. This figure does start pre-orders very soon. In fact, this week, over at justinishmail.com. I will link it in the video description as well as Instagram so you can follow the process of the release of this new figure. It is planned to ship in quarter four of this year. So pretty awesome stuff. And as I mentioned, there are a few different additions as well. There is a deluxe black and white one, which will come with those two alternate heads, red mask, orange mask, or all black and white, and it comes with a special print of that original artwork by Peter Laird. This version is limited to only 300 pieces and will run $100. There is also just a basic all black and white version of this, as well as the standard full color with the orange mask and a full color with a red mask. Those three versions there are all limited to 500 pieces a piece and will retail for $75. So again, pre-orders start this week, justinishmail.com. I'll link it in the video description. Very special thanks to Ish for giving me the opportunity to reveal this amazing new figure here on the channel. So much awesome TMNT stuff out there and I love stuff like this. Thank you guys so very much for watching and until next time.